Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to back up all the tables from a database to separate files in MySQL or MariaDB by using MySQL Dumper. So consider that you have uh, maybe 10 or 20 or 30 tables in one of the database and you would like to create a separate uh, backup file for each of the table in that uh, database. So, so that's what we are going to learn in this uh, video. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you my database uh, that has a couple of tables uh, and then uh, uh, we will you walk uh, walk through the script uh, we are going to use uh, to take the backup so so i have uh, one uh, database called test db underscore one and uh, now let me clear the screen so you guys can see no problem okay show tables what happened here i have two tables uh, test and test one so when i want to run the backup i would like to create a separate file for each of the table okay great so let's exit from here now what we will do we will uh, take a look on the script that we can use. Um, I will provide the uh, details in the descriptions. You can uh, uh, copy the script from the description and use it. Um, okay, so first of all in the script what we have here it is in a provide the username that you would like to use for your backup. So in my case, uh, I'm uh, going to use backup user. In a previous video, I have shown how to create the backup user. A very simple create user username at the rate local and then provide the identifier by password. Uh, you can use root or whatever the user you want, then provide the password for that user here. So uh, next, uh, what you would like to do, you would like to provide the database name uh, uh, for which uh, uh, you would like to take the backup of all the tables and separate files. And uh, now if the directory does exist, uh, it is uh, going to uh, skip that. Otherwise, it's going to create a, a new directory. And most probably it will create the directory anytime because uh, this is where our directory will be created. Uh, it will have uh, your database name and then uh, underscore uh, timestamp. So every time you have a, a, like a date and then a minutes and seconds, so your new directory will be created. Um, Next, uh, what it is doing here, so my SQL dump, you username, password, and all that. So it is uh, uh, skipping the table. So some parameters we are using, and uh, you can see that this is the table name. So it got the table names, and then it is going to uh, take the backup of those uh, tables. How did it get the tables? So to get the tables, what it has to do, it has to go to the a my MariaDB or MySQL and get the list of that. So I have used this query select table name from information schema uh, tables of where table schema that I'm saying like database equal to MySQL database. So this is a parameter we have used on top and uh, whatever the name of the database we have provided it is going to give us a list of those the tables. Uh, and once uh, it has the table name uh, what it is going to do it is going to take uh, the backups uh, uh, here you can see that my SQL dumper. So we are using uh, uh, do loop here and then uh, it will uh, uh, take the one table at a time and back up uh, in that uh, directory. Okay, the script uh, will be there as well. So you can uh, um, uh, in the description, you can simply copy and paste. Nothing has to be changed, but your username, password, and the directory in which you would like to um, take the backup uh, and, uh, and your database name. Hit enter and uh, that it is done. I have my tables are very small, so let's take a look. So you can see that uh, it has created a directory with test db underscore one. That's our database name. And then you have a date uh, time to it. Okay, so let's go to that. D paste here and we can take a look. You can see that uh, each table is uh, backed up in a separate uh, file. So test uh, one was uh, uh, created here and uh, test uh, table backups created here. That's great. If I go back here and uh, let's say if I will clear this uh, and uh, if I read on this script again, it's going to create a directory one more time. Okay, so done. If I do ls here, go back one time. So you can see that uh, next time, uh, same database name as we didn't change it, but new directory is created. Uh, so you can see that. Uh, and then uh, the all the tables uh, are backed up uh, in that uh, directory. So um, if uh, you rerun this uh, script um, in a different times, 
uh, is going to create a new directory for you and back up all the tables in separate files for you. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.